Hi, I'm Ron Jackson with Acoustic Guitar Magazine, and today we're going to talk about bass lines and chords and how you walk them through chords. Now, to get a, a good glimpse about this is to check out people like Django Reinhardt and Freddie Green, who actually started this kind of sound um, back back in the day. And uh, I would suggest listen to the recordings and um, listen to these people play that. Uh, we have some suggestions here on the website and uh, and on the you know in the article here. Now, um, you know one th one of the ways I got to, into this kind of playing was listening to Joe Pass when I was in college at Berkeley. Now he this is this guy was a master of walking bass lines and chords, and um, he used to be able to play that on his classical guitar on his Gibson. 175 and it was absolutely amazing to hear this guy play the guitar making it sound like a whole band now um you know when i get into this uh weekly workout fairly quickly now i just want to talk about a couple of things before you start with these lessons first you should be very mindful of the chord shapes that we're going to be using the chord shapes we're going to be using are basically three note voicings with the root flat seven and third sometimes inverted depending on what chord you're doing okay and um, to memorize these shapes because they're very common when you're walking a bass line and also when you're comping um, in the swing style of the manouche swing style in jazz okay so I mean the first one of the voices we're going to be using is a G7 like this with the sixth string root C7 on the fifth string root with these shapes and the minor seventh, D minor seven, like this, and A minor seven. The D minor seven was on the fifth string root, the A minor seven is on the sixth string root. And they're movable, all these shapes, so we're going to be transposing them. We're going to be using a, a blues in the key of G, okay? A jazz blues in the key of G. So remember to uh, memorize this progression in all keys, especially if you're, you know, you really want to, want to get into jazz comping and swing comping like that, okay, and walking bass lines. So um, I suggest practicing with the metronome. I have my trusty Dr. Beat here, DB90, and I have it set to um, 50. Um, and I, I want you guys to practice with the metronome beat set as two and four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. So you're actually feeling the hi-hat pulse of the song so you're going to actually match your beats and these lessons um to the two and four to practice i mean you, you could practice with the metronome and without the metronome okay so let's get started with the weekly lessons here this is week one of your weekly workout with walking bass lines for the guitar so the most important thing right now is to remember these chord shapes that i actually wrote out in this G blues, this G jazz blues, okay? Uh, so try to remember the chord progression and also um, practice this exercise with the metronome using all downstrokes, uh, accenting the two and four, okay? But the, and also, very important, if you can try to memorize these fingerings. Now, later on when you get really good at walking bass lines, you're just going to use every available finger that you can and you know in some un un unconventional ways to actually play these um you know these bass lines with a chord on top okay but right to right now i'm having you learn a specific fingering just so you get used to being able it, to, rem to remembering these shapes and being able being able to play this chord progression okay so i suggest remembering these fingerings as best as possible you know, and uh, I, I even have a hard time remembering this because, you know, I'm so used to just being able to play with any finger, but I, I want to give you something constructive to memorize so you can incorporate the bass line later in this exercise. So we're going to actually use this chord shape with a metronome, but you have to be able to hit the chord like this very lightly. Like this, you see that? What I'm actually doing is hitting all three notes at the same time but not too hard. The goal is not to hit it too hard, okay? You're gonna go through this whole exercise and, and do the same fingering with the metronome, okay? And with the same fingering and accent the two and four. So if I put the metronome on, one, two, 
three, four. You have to count in between the click of the metronome to get the two and four on the right place. So I would go one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. So that's what I'm actually doing. I want to actually play through the whole exercise for you right now so you can see what it sounds like and you can practice this at home. Here we go. One, two, one, two, three, four. So that's week number one.